So for me, the, the word integrity means doing the right thing when nobody's looking um, and being honest about things. So I had a hard time being honest. I had a hard time following through um, with things that I was asked to do and, and even doing them to the best of my ability. Maybe I'd do them, you know, halfway or, you know, not at all, but then say that I would do it. And so <clears throat> when I got into recovery and, and I started to learn what those spiritual principles are, uh, that one stuck out, stood out to me a lot. And I really focused on that one because that's me. My integrity is who I am. It's how people remember me. It's how people know me. And so I really work every day on if somebody tells me or asks me to do something, I do it. And I do it to the best of my ability and I'm honest about it. I'm not perfect. It's still hard. There are still areas in my life that it's hard to be honest about things that have happened to me or simple things that are just like, well, that's not going to matter. I don't need to be honest about that. Recovery's, you know, taught me to um, to work at that and to be honest and and to know that that is my integrity. I think for me, probably acceptance and as a, that relates to so many of the other uh, items that you mentioned, because if, if I'm not in acceptance, uh, if, if I'm trying to do things Jorn's way in the way I think it should be done, or if someone does something I think is not appropriate, I have a hard time with the integrity and the gratitude and all those other things, because if I'm not in an, a, a place where I'm accepting of virtually everything, and it doesn't mean that somebody necessarily is right or I'm right or they're wrong, but if I build my world around what I believe to be right, what I believe to be wrong, I can, I can follow suit. I can do that every day. I can tr try to accomplish that every day. As soon as I get to a point where I feel like someone put upon me or someone didn't do the right thing, and that's my reasoning, I can't let that be my reasoning for not doing the right thing. It's a very, uh, I don't know, it's complicated, it, it, and it's definitely a journey. I'm far better at it today than I was 10 years ago, or even five years ago, yesterday as a matter of fact. So it's, it's a constant looking for the opportunities that come up for me to be the best that I can be. And that to me, the biggest obstacle is acceptance because not everybody follows the same playbook, right? Even folks that are in recovery that are far better at it, that have more memorized than me and that can spout off stuff to you. That sometimes I don't, I don't think they're right. And I have to remember that <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> well, because it's principles before personalities, right, right? Exactly, principles before personalities. But it's hard. Sometimes it's hard. And uh, I, I know that, and I feel like I'm redundant here, but it goes back to community and the people that I choose to surround me in my life. I, I, it's okay for me not to be perfect today. It's okay for me to say, hey, what do you think about this? And for someone to say back to me, yeah, I think you're you're acting a little out of sorts and you're not doing the right thing, Jorn. Woo, yeah, that's a tough pill to swallow. But I know that it comes from people that I trust and it's about me and my issues with acceptance. So yeah, acceptance is a big one for me, a big one for me.